Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our Budget Mardu series and we're finally to black, so we're getting near the end here. Um, one of my commenters actually suggested I do a Mardu card draw series and, or a Mardu card draw, I think he meant episode and then I made a whole series. Anyway, getting there at least. And this is, yeah, black card draw combat tricks. Okay, so we're looking at combat tricks with black card draw. So, as usual, what do I mean by budget? I mean $2 or less and I'm going by the TCG market value? Not a sponsor. No, they're not. I forgot to say it in the last video and uh, Tequila Fish Sticks called me out on it. Ah, oh, you got me, fish. Ah. Anyway, black card draw is... B oh, sorry. Black is better at card draw than some colors. It usually has an additional cost attached to the card draw. So red a lot of times will have like, you know, you have to discard a draw or you kind of exile from the top of your deck. So these kind of like pseudo draw things. Uh, black does have actual card draw, but usually it's att attached to like hay life or sacrifice a creature or something like that. These are black card draw effects that also have useful abilities for battle. Okay, so these are the battle ones which are very, very important for Mardu because it's very aggressive. Mentions. So this is all seven cents and under. We have instill infection, put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature, draw a card. On its own, that really isn't great. You want to use this in a proliferate deck, right? And you just start proliferating and it turns it into a kill spell, basically. For three and a black, it's a lot for uh, just one minus one, minus one counter. If you're using it to like take out an indestructible creature, I think it might actually, well, worth it is pushing it, but it's an option. Uh, moment of Defiance for two and a black. Target creature gets plus two plus one and gains lifelink until end of turn draw a card. The lifelink is going to be useful in like all kinds of decks as well. So yeah, that's definitely something to consider. Sugar Rush, target creature gets plus three until end of turn, uh, plus three, plus zero until end of turn, draw a card. Again, just adding to the aggression, that's uh, uh, at least uh, mana-wise, it's only one in a black, so it's the cheapest one on here by quite a bit, and uh, maybe it's what you need, you know? If your creature already has like lifelink or something, it's a nice little bonus. Um, it's not for every deck, that's for sure. Okay, first up, uh, Aphotic wisp, uh, Wisps. Uh, I kept saying Whispers, even typing it. I was typing Whispers. I don't know why. I kept telling myself, stop typing Whispers, and then I was like, Whispers? Why? Uh, anyway. So for one black, target creature becomes black and gains fear until end of turn. Draw a card. Um, so... Fear is uh, may only be blocked by black or artifact creatures, so this is actually a lot of evasion. I think this is actually quite a bit better than fly, because fly, you know, flying or reach can block it. This is only black, it's only artifact. You know kind of right off the bat, like do they have an artifact creature, do they have a black creature? Um, they could flash something in, but otherwise you're probably getting something through. So it's predictable, I guess is the upside. 38 cents. Night Haze. Okay, for one black, this is very, very similar. This is almost like the other side of the coin from Aphotic Wisps. Uh, uh, wis yeah, Wisps. I, I keep thinking I'm saying Whispers. Anyway, target creature gains Swamp Walk until end of turn draw a card. Alright, so Swamp Walk may not sound that impressive, but remember, Swamp Walk doesn't actually mean a swamp, right? It's not the basic land swamp, it's the the uh, land type. So any triome that has swamp on it, that will work. Right, anything that, if they have a land that has the type swamp, you, you can use Swamp Walk. You don't actually need them to have a basic land swamp to use this, okay? So yeah, quite a bit more useful than I think people realize sometimes anyway also yeah 
Again, you got the th the card replacing itself. Just very useful. 17 cents. Elder Brain. Okay, this is a strange one for the list. I usually have like instants and stuff, but this definitely counts. It is very expensive. Five black black for a six six. So this is a big boy. It does have menace, so that's kind of nice. And whenever Elder Brain attacks a player, exile all cards from that player's hand, then draw that many cards. You may play lands and cast spells from among the exiled cards for as long as they remain exiled. If you cast a spell this way, you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast it. Okay, so there's a couple things I want to point out here. First of all, it's an attack trigger. It doesn't need to like do damage or anything like that. It doesn't matter. As soon as you attack, this happens. Sorry, as soon as it attacks, this happens. All right, so, and then yeah. The cards remain exiled. As long as they're exiled, you can cast them. It doesn't matter if someone like uses target removal on Elder Brain or something. If they destroy Elder Brain, it doesn't matter. You still keep get access to those cards. So this isn't really card draw, but card stealing is almost better, I think. Yeah, stealing other people's stuff. I mean, the kind of effect it has as well, I think is very uh, important. Like. Someone's got a hand they've already picked out, you know, I'm going to do this, this, and this. They've kind of made their plan. They've got everything ready to go. And then they have to pretty much throw that plan in the garbage and draw a whole new set of cards. It really does, like, I think it kind of messes up other people's games more than anything. So this is uh, sneakily useful. So what is your favorite black combat spell? All right, black is very, very good for combat spells, but what's your number one pick, I'm wondering? Also, please hit like and subscribe, it really does help. Dark Dabbling, okay. Regenerate target creature, draw a card for two and a black. That's not fantastic, it might be worth it, maybe, maybe not. That isn't really what this is on the list for though. Spell Mastery. Okay, remember Spell Mastery. If there are two or more instant or and or sorcery cards in your graveyard, also regenerate each other creature. So if you have a deck where you've got a good amount of sorceries and thing, instants and sorceries, as long as you've got two or, or what, wait, two or more. Yeah, two or more is not hard to do. Then this becomes a regenerate the entire board, right? You get to give everything a second shot, basically. That's pretty scary, actually. So you can just like all out throw everything, you know, maybe keep blockers, but yeah, throw almost everything at someone and you just don't have to worry. Like they can put all the thought they want to blocking and like doing as much damage prevention as possible. And then you just go like, okay, all my stuff is fine. You know, it's, it's fine. Anyway, seven cents. Okay, this is uh, another kind of interesting one, but Henrika Domnathi. I I did say it right, yay. Okay, she is a vampire for two and two black. It's She's a one three with flying. At the beginning of combat on your turn, choose one that hasn't been chosen. So one reason I really like this is that it's triggered just by your combat starting, right? You don't have to attack, you don't have to do damage, you don't have to blah, 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 right? It's just part of your turn triggers it. You literally don't have to do anything. Anyway, okay, so your options are each player sacrifices a creature, you draw a card and lose one life. Very good start, right? And finally, transform her, and when she transforms, she becomes another vampire with flying, death touch, and lifelink, which is a great combination. Each creature you control with flying, death touch, and or lifelink gets plus one until end of turn for one black black. So you can use this as like kind of a pseudo anthem effect to buff, to pump up anything, especially I think with a, uh, if you have a bunch of lifelink, like doing a, kind of a Mardu vampire thing. All of your stuff will probably have lifelink. 
you're just gonna boost up all that damage and collect a bunch of extra life. Like, so, so good. Anyway, 84 cents. Three is maybe a bit pricey for the effect, but as long as you've got enough creatures on the board with lifelink or death touch or flying, then yeah, it's gonna be worth it. The list. Okay, Aphotic Wisps, 38 cents. Night Haze, 17 cents. Again, I feel like those two kind of make anything unblockable if you can uh, put them together between the two of them. But anyway, Elder Brain, 23 cents. This used to be a much more expensive card. Dark Dabblings, uh, 7 cents. Again, as long as you've got the two or more instants or sorceries, this is like so beyond worth it. It's regenerating your entire board and then draw a card. Like, for seven cents. That's crazy. Three mana, seven cents. <laughs> Just insane. Henrika Domnathi, so many options. Options really are king in this game. Like, having options is great. Anyway, 84 cents. Alright, take it easy.